Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see what is normal PAQ form of the matrix and how to find it. We will also see an example of reduction of the matrix into normal PAQ form. So let us see what is normal PAQ form of the matrix. For every matrix A, if there exists a non-singular matrices P and Q such that normal form of the matrix A can be written as P into A into Q, then we say that PAQ is in normal form or this is also called as normal PAQ form of the matrix. Let me show you the steps involved in reduction of the matrix to normal PAQ form. In the very first step, if our matrix A is of the order M cross N, then we can write it as IM into A into IN, where IM is an identity matrix of order M and IN is an identity matrix of order N. For example, look at this matrix. This is a 3 cross 4 matrix. It has 3 rows and 4 columns. So we can write this matrix as product of I3 into A into I4. Since it has 3 rows, this first matrix will be I3, identity matrix of order 3. Since it has 4 columns, this third matrix will be I4, that is an identity matrix of order 4. Then in step 2, we reduce this LHS matrix to normal form using simultaneous rows and column transformations. In step 3, on IM, we will perform the similar row transformation applied on LHS matrix A as well as on IN, we will perform the similar column transformations that we applied on LHS matrix A to reduce it to normal form. By the time this matrix A reduced to normal form, this matrix reduces to another matrix P whereas this third matrix reduces to another matrix say it is Q. That is why we say that PAQ is in normal form. Now let me show you an example of this. Here we are given a matrix A, it is of order 3. We have to find out non-singular matrices P and Q such that PAQ is in normal form. We were also asked to find rank of the matrix A. So let us first write matrix A as I3 A I3 because A has 3 rows and 3 columns. Here we will have I3 and I3. So this will be written as this. Now we will perform series of row and column transformation on this LHS matrix A to reduce it to normal form. The same row transformation we will perform on this first matrix and the same column transformations we will perform on the third matrix. At the time when we perform row transformation on this matrix, we will take this matrix or carry forward this matrix as it is. And at the time when we perform column transformation on this matrix, we will carry forward this matrix as it is. Let me show you. We wanted to reduce this matrix to normal form. So we first perform transformations R2 minus R1 and R3 minus 3 times R1 which will reduce this element and this element to 0. So now we have this as our new matrix. Since we performed row transformations, so we will perform these same row transformations on this matrix keeping or carry forwarding this matrix as it is in the next step. So look at here. R2 minus R1 here will be minus 1, 1 and 0. R3 minus 3 R1 reduces this th third row to minus 3, 0 and 1. You can see that this matrix A and this third matrix are carry forwarded as it is in the next step. Now we will perform transformation C2 minus C1 and C3 minus C1 to reduce A 1 comma 2 and a 1 comma 3 element to 0. So now we have this is our new matrix. Since these are column transformations, we will perform these transformations on this third matrix 
keeping this first and second matrix as it is in the next step. So look at here, the changes are as follows. This matrix is carry forwarded as it is, same as A. Now C2 minus C1 will give us minus 1 here, 1 here and 0. C3 minus C1 will give us in third column, minus 1, 0 and 1. Now you can perform the other required row transformations as well as column transformations and similar changes can be done in the first and the third column on the right, right hand side. So finally, we ended up with this type of equation where in LHS, this matrix A is now completely gets reduced to normal form. Instead of I3, we have now new matrix, we call it as P. Similarly, in similarly, third matrix I3 gets reduced to another matrix, we call it as Q. So we have this scenario. So right hand side becomes PAQ and left hand side is in normal form. That is why we call it as PAQ is in normal form or this is normal PAQ form. From this left hand side matrix, we can say what is rank of the matrix. Since in this normal form, identity matrix of order 2 appears, we say that rank of the matrix is 2. Now we will discuss how to find out A inverse from normal PAQ form of the matrix A. Note that this is possible only if matrix A is a square non-singular matrix. So let us consider normal PAQ form of the matrix A is as follows. I is equal to PAQ. Then pre-multiplying both the sides by P inverse, we get AQ is equal to P inverse. Then pre-multiplying both the sides by A inverse, we get Q is equal to A inverse P inverse. Finally, we post multiply both the sides by matrix P to get QP is equal to A inverse. So here we get the formula for inverse of the matrix A as matrix Q into P. So Q into P will give us inverse of the matrix A. Let us see an example on this. We are given matrix A of order 3 cross 3. We are asked to find PAQ form for this matrix. We are also asked to find rank of A and A inverse. Since this matrix is of order 3 cross 3, we write it as A is equal to I3 A I3. Substituting values for A, I3 and I3, equation becomes this. Now we perform series of rows as well as column transformations on this left hand side matrix A and we reduce it to normal form. The similar row transformations we will perform on the first matrix on RHS and similar column transformations we will perform on third matrix on the RHS. So due to which we will get normal PAQ form of the matrix A. You can pause the video and check these transformations. So finally, we ended up with the equation I is equal to PAQ. This is matrix I, this is matrix P and this is matrix Q. From this left hand side matrix, we can say that rank of the matrix A is 3. Now coming on to A inverse. From this equation, we noted what is P and what is Q. To find out A inverse, all that we have to do is find product of Q and P. So Q into P over here is this matrix. This is inverse of matrix A or A inverse. I hope you understood the concept of normal PAQ form and how to find it. As well as we also saw how to find out A inverse from the normal PAQ form. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have 
updated information about my videos.